this video, I'm going to show you how you can grade your log footage in Premiere like a pro in under just one minute. Stay tuned. What is happening, everybody? It is your boy, Sean Alami, and I know whatever you are, you're having a wonderful day. First of all, thank you guys for tuning in. This channel talks about anything that has to do with filmmaking and photography, like many other channels that you've already subscribed to. The only difference is I make this whole tutorial thing look good. I'm just kidding. Please, please don't leave. But if you do decide to hit that subscribe button, I will promise you this. Every time you and me meet here, you're going to learn something new and I will make sure of that. And I will try my best not to bore you. Now, I live in Germany and one of the benefits of living in Europe is that you're only a couple of hours away from a city like Amsterdam. And after months of quarantine, we are finally allowed to cross the border. So I did not waste any time. I grabbed my wife, we drove to Amsterdam, we met up with a friend who's from there and we just wanted to blow off some steam from all this craziness. Now this friend of ours happens to be a professional model and every time I know I'm on my way to meet someone good looking, I am taking my camera with me to take advantage of the situation. So let's have a quick look at some quick sequences I made with Kim in Amsterdam and we'll pick the best shot to do the color grading in. Let's check it out. Okay, let's get this party started. So this is my favorite shot that I chose and I like it. I just like the composition. I like how Kim looks into it. And I think this is one of the shots that Kim is closer to the camera where we get to see her skin tones. So this would be our example to go with. So I've brought in an adjustment layer. And the first thing I'm gonna try to do is to get this thing out of a log look. Well, that's easy. All you gotta do is bring in the shadows using the curve adjustments. Oops, let me turn this thing on. There you go. Now looking at the waveform, you gotta watch out. When you bring this thing in, don't go over zero. And with the highlights, the same thing. Go all the way up till you reach 100. And then I'm just gonna try to give this thing a little bit of an S look. And this thing looks blue as a night. Let's bump it up to make it look as what it was on that day that we shot it. A little bit of saturation. We still got some room up here for some highlights. Let's bump that thing up and look at that. And a little bit of contrast. Still a little bit of green. Get rid of that, get rid of this. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good start, isn't it? Look at the difference here. Oh, not bad, huh? Now let's try to give this thing a somewhat of a cinematic look. And how do we do that? So we add a Lumetri color. I hope this thing stays in under one minute. If it doesn't, please don't hate me. So I'm gonna try to give this a teal look. So what I would do is I wanna separate her skin tone from everything else. And how do we do that? We come to the HSL secondary. We pick the color picker, go on her skin, turn the mask on. And all we want to do is to get a little bit more of her skin. This is my least favorite part of the Lumetri color. Now 
Now let's denoise it, make it a little bit blurry. I think this will just do the job. And reverse, get rid of the mask, and let's just bring in the beautiful teal color. Pump up the temperature, a touch. Add a little bit of vignettes. I grade with for two different purposes. One for my YouTube channel, and one if I wanted to give it a cinematic look. For the YouTube one, usually has more of a pop, a more of a contrast, and it's more saturated. So this is what it looks like, just like that. Now, if I want to make this thing. Um, a more of a cinematic look what I would do I would I will add in my bars and I would desaturate of course a little bit let's get out of the green and I would add a little bit of faded film and reduce the contrast now that is more of a cinematic look. You can of course add some noise if you want, but I'm just gonna stop there. Now I've created a step-by-step -step PDF where you can download in the descriptions. All you have to do is put in your email and you have access to that PDF wherever you go. And if you happen to like this short video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, leave some comments. Let's talk, let's become friends. Until we see each other next time, ciao.